the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I want to share with you five keys. Five keys, and then we'll pray. Five keys that you must engage every time you meet the days of adversity every time you meet seasons that are uncomfortable in your life there are five biblical keys that that are the road map for you i give you a guarantee by the integrity of the word of god if you follow these five keys they will inevitably bring you triumph and victory above out of and over any situation whatsoever are we together pray in one minute and declare that the lord should grant you the miracle of open eyes please go ahead and pray mighty god Are you praying? Grant me the miracle. Shedi baratu sergedi balada balada ush. Say to those that are fearful hearted. Do not be afraid. The Lord your God is strong and in his mighty hands when you call on his name. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. This is a prophetic word for someone. You will not end up in that situation. While you are there, I want you to know that his majesty is coming with triumph. He will do it in the open in the presence of everyone and they will know that he has come to you as Ebenezer in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one, the first key if you want to live the life of an overcomer in the presence of challenges, the vicissitudes of life, the first key, listen carefully, is the revelation of the love of God you must have a strong revelation of the love of God please pay attention you must draw your strength from the fact that you are his beloved you want to write that down beloved that he loves me very simple statement but it's powerful if you know anything about people who are in love, there is nothing they will not do for one another. So the awareness and the consciousness that I am not only his son, but I am also his bride. His jealousy is there to defend me. First John chapter 3 and verse 1. Let's look at a few scriptures. You want to live the life of an overcomer? The Bible says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us 
behold what manner of love that means look at the extent of love that he has so lavished towards you because let me tell you this when you go through hope that is deferred when you go through persecutions and all kinds of tribulations and criticisms listen carefully when you go through all kinds of um, emotional strains that come from this thing sorrow chances are that you will begin to reconsider the reality of God's love towards you do you really love me the first thing that went wrong when the boat was about to capsize with the disciples is they are they are listen to what they told Jesus carest thou not that we perish in other words why are you acting this irresponsible to what we are going through you seem to be non-responsive to our situation the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the love of God the love of God Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3 is a popular scripture here I have loved you with an everlasting love this is God unashamedly like a man declaring his love to a woman that he loves with all his heart he's saying it here i have loved you with an everlasting love it says and i have drawn you with my loving kindness i have loved you everybody say he loves me, he loves me. yes sir when you have a revelation of the love of god then you know that he's not silent listen carefully what's that song now he never sleeps he never slumbers he never tires of hearing our prayer when we are weak he becomes stronger so rest in his love and cast all of your care on him can we sing it one more time powerful song that he never sleeps he never slumbers he never tires of hearing our prayer when we are weak he becomes stronger so rest in his love and cast all of your cares on him listen so rest in his love and cast all of your cares on him it's an advice it's an instruction in righteousness so rest in his love and cast all of your cares God is speaking to you so rest in his love cast all of your cares you are not the first to fail in business listen please rest in his love cast all of your cares you are not the first to go through a barrenness situation that seems shameful so rest in his love cast all of your cares on him you are not the first to be challenged by arm robbers and kidnappers no find rest I will rest in his love cast all of my cares this is a prophetic word to a family to an individual you may be a man of God here you are in a season where things are not working ministries as if God did not call you others have turned to tell you just go and look for a job because this is your thing we don't know the name of what you are doing There are times when the results are not obvious it is very painful because there is no explanation you can give there are times where people will ask you where is your fasting and where's your prayer there are times it's a popular thing especially across Africa where is your God they say where is your God that people are dying in your family pastor where is your God that while you are preaching you do not have a child yourself they say so rest in his love cast all of your cares hear me only answer questions that have rewards 
don't cheapen yourself to respond to every question you will be asked in life why is this family like this if you love the lord it's an unnecessary question learn to rest in the love of jesus romans chapter 8 and verse 28 jesus is speaking now and we know huh, we know it's an information that is privy to those who are in the kingdom if you are out of this kingdom you may not know because it does not look like it those who are out of the faith walk by their sensory perception but we who are in the kingdom the bible says we are privy to an information we know that how many things including the painful departure of a loved one all things including the loss of the job please hear me all things including the appointment you thought would be you and it was someone else all things all things work together for the good of them that love god this is a love realm this is a love affair to them who are the called according to his purpose how many things all things apostle i missed my flight all things work together if you learn to see through the eyes of the spirit you will be grateful grateful don't sit down and say this family is it that nobody will rise in this family no 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 learn to say thank you lord i do not know what you are doing but i'm grateful because in your wisdom I trust your love for me we have some of our little children in the ministry and many times if I make them a promise that I'm going to buy them something if they see me they don't care whether I'm under the anointing or whether I'm under whatever they will remind me and come with absolute confidence and they use an implicating word daddy they don't call me apostle they call you apostle that's membership daddy is relationship so they run and come to me yesterday while we're having our time with the school of ministry students they just came to me and said ah there was something they wanted to eat and you see the moment they say daddy they leave that one is either you are really daddy daddy is not by you have to demonstrate the capacity to provide or you now have to painfully look at these children and say sorry you people should live here there are times where you should not be embarrassed to be a child again and let abba carry you when the oceans roll and thunders roll i will soar with you above father you are king over the storms here's your part that i will be still and know you our god my soul be still and know you ah. i will be still and know you our god my soul be still and know you when the oceans and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the sky. Father, you are king over the storms, and I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you. I will be still. Oh, receive it as a prophecy to your life. I will be still and know you. I will be still. And know you, God. I will be still and know you. Just the voices. I will be still. I will be still and know you. I will be still. I will be still and know you. 
so you can look at your rent eyeball to eyeball you can look at your child in the ICU and with the pain in your heart you can look at your health and the medical diagnosis that you have cancer and you are about to go and you can sing this song not to an audience you sing a song where you are the minister and you are the audience yourself there are times you need to be the prophet of your destiny ladies and gentlemen please hear me you need to summon courage tonight father you are king over the storms i will be still and know you our god i will be still and know you Don't be ashamed of your tears. Jesus wept. It is not inhuman to cry. It is not lack of spirituality to cry. Hmm. Be still and know you are God. I'm not singing, I'm ministering to you. Be still and know you are God. Listen to me. When Satan wants to destroy you, he will isolate you and magnify everything around you so that you no longer see the faithfulness of God. All you see are mountains around. All you see is the situation or that, that seems to negate what God has said. Hear me! I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Be strong. Be strong. There is something called the life of an overcomer. You can stand and look at everything young man will you be able to rise one day and take care of mama i may not be able to show you any result right now i don't have much to say let my future do the speaking i will be still and know you i will be still hear me I want you to find strength in the love of God. A Christian is not just one who goes to church. A believer is one who is so jealously loved by the God of heaven. Look beyond your challenges. Please hear me believers, I'm ministering to you by the Spirit. No matter what the pain is, look beyond it and look at Jesus. Don't just look at him as the powerful God. You need to look at him as Father. Lord, I know that you love me. Your jealousy has been so invested in my life. This I believe. There are people going through all kinds of storms right now. Listen to me. Though I walk through the valley glow, I'll fear no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust in you. Listen to what I'm saying. This is not a special number. My heart will trust in you Lord my heart will trust in you Apostle you're only speaking now because you have food to eat at home as I'm sitting right now I have three children four children I do not even know how they are going to eat after service can I minister to you find strength it always does not look like it this is what makes you an overcomer there is no gift of overcoming. No. Overcoming is not a gift. He that overcomes, he says, that you will be given a white stone. You will be given a name on that stone. You will be given a, a mystery manner that provides strength. Notice what he does. The first thing he does to the overcomer is he strengthens you by giving you manna that gives you strength there is always a word from god 
that makes you an overcomer the revelation the bible says in romans chapter 8 and verse 28 we read it that all things not some things please listen to me it is not unusual for you to cry you will find many instances in your life where you have to cry cry with your children cry with your company you know after the pandemic last year believe me without exaggeration there were many people who retired from ministry and said I'm tired with this serving God I cannot serve God like this and have my children beg for bread I hang my boots Lord just know that I'm born again but as far as serving you is concerned discouragement how about those who lost their jobs some of you here looking at me how about those who have gone through all kinds of tragedy you started this year with joy not knowing that you have a reason to cry and now from bereavements to disappointments to pain when you know that he loves you you can find strength because perfect love has a unique ability to cast out fear if you know that he loves you you can find strength listen to me brothers and sisters do not let the devil use your challenges to interpret the love of God no no Satan is a master of the flesh realm he can use everything happening to you and make you think is this how love acts I thought the Bible says love gives where is the giving financially where is the giving maritally where is the giving in terms of fruitfulness where is the giving in terms of politics find strength dear ones there is the revelation of the love of God that he who began a good work in me he who began a good work in me oh that's a prophetic word to someone he'll be faithful to complete it ah he'll be faithful to complete it he who started the work He'll be faithful to complete it. Hear me. The same energy it takes to continue is the same energy it takes to go back. You must make up your mind. Whether you go back or go forward is the same energy you will dissipate. Make up your mind that I will take that leap of faith even if it means to walk on water. That if I perish, let it be that I perish at his word. Number two, let's hurry up. We need to pray. Ah, my spirit is fired up. I know that God is ministering very deeply to people in this place. Allow him heal those wounds and bring you a life of victory. Number two, what is the second key that grants us the grace to live as overcomers? in spite of challenges are you ready the second is the power of the word particularly the administration of comfort that comes with scripture the power of the word engage the power engage the word the bible brings us comfort romans chapter 15 and verse 4 scripture can bring comfort to the believer for whatsoever things were written aforetime let's look at a few things that were written aforetime abraham waited 25 years he still had a child written aforetime job went through all kinds of things you would look at job and think his end had come 
but at the end of his life he had twice everything that he lost written a four time what else was written a four time a young shepherd that looked like he had a destiny without color and without dignity serving sincerely but remaining a mediocre now exalted to become king written a four time the arrogance of kings outside of God and they were brought down to their knees written aforetime the Bible says whatsoever things were written aforetime they says they were written to make us students why so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope hmm. so every time I open my Bible and I read through these stories I read that once upon a time the nation of Israel stood before the Red Sea in front of them the Egyptians coming with fierce anger behind them and God still came as a deliverer written aforetime to make me a student that God is able to save to the uttermost are we together that once upon a time humans not a parable they were so hungry on earth manna came not grains that they had to prepare angels bread came written a four time once upon a time the land of samaria was ravaged with hunger in 24 hours god turned their lives around written a four time to make me a student one time paul and silas were jailed bound hand and feet the bible says at midnight they prayed they sang aloud and everybody heard them suddenly the mighty deliverer came There is nothing that is new under the sun. There are people who started from ground and God lifted them up. There are people in ministry. There are people in business. There are people in career. Listen to me, gentlemen and ladies, believers, people of God. Koinonia, the body of Christ. God is speaking to us. Whenever you go through situations that look challenging, that is not the time to run away from scripture. That is the time to stay true to the word of God. psalms 119 verse 28 psalms 119 and verse 28 shilano skati branda kazuzi atakata it says my soul melted for heaviness strengthen thou me according unto thy word my soul is melting oh god overwhelmed by the challenges and the vicissitudes of life not knowing where to go left or right not knowing how to manage my life in light of all of these things when you look at the things happening across our nation africa these things look discouraging it looks like you should just run away and people are committing suicide people are swallowing all kinds of things to just die in their sleep it says my soul melted for heaviness strengthen thou me according unto thy word the word of God is a comforter and the word of God is a strengthener because you see the dynamics is this the power of God only follows what he says if God has not said it it is illegal for his power to come to the scene so the word of God is a compendium of what he has said when you find what he has said you can be sure his power is following what he has said are we together Genesis chapter 21 from verse 1 and 2 the Bible says and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken if he says it if he speaks it he will do it for Sarah conceived that is a testimony and bear Abraham a son in his old age he says at the set time which God had spoken so you need to draw strength from scripture scriptures like yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death the bible says i fear no evil why for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies that you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of these are scriptures that must comfort you at these times if it's a bereavement you must comfort yourself that the bible says one day there will be the sound of the archangel 
and that those who are dead in Christ will arise first and we who are alive and remain remain where in him we will be caught to meet to, to, to meet them in the air and then happily after rejoicing with Jesus it says I know my Redeemer live it let the weak say I am strong let the poor say I am rich let the depressed say I am encouraged and strengthened by the power of God most believers are not students of scripture and so when these seasons come there is no legitimate way to draw strength in fact for most people they do not know how to draw strength from scripture at best they draw strength from respectfully speaking maybe movies or visitations from people but most believers do not know how to sit down with the word and draw strength from it you can draw strength from the word Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1 and 2 the Bible says he said unto me son of man stand up upon your feet and I will speak unto thee and the Bible says it did not have that strength but from that word the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me you must learn to draw strength from scripture number three is someone learning what do you do to remain an overcomer during the times of adversity during the times where things look unpleasant number three engage in strategic prayers strategic prayers number three engage in strategic prayers psalm 34 from verse 4 please to 7 psalm 34 i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from how many all my fears i sought the lord the deliverance did not just come i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears and have verse 5 they looked unto him the bible says and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed six this poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of how many all his troubles not some verse 7 the angel of the lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them you can engage in prayers can i tell you one of the assignments of the spirit of heaviness what we know in the medical world as depression is to bring you to a point of silence because if you can open your mouth and agree with god his power can come to bear depressed people are silent people when you see people get to a point where they just sit down how are you sir and then after five minutes they just say nigeria What else are life? What else are if I don't wake up tomorrow, just know that this one is for you, this one is for your brother. I rebuke the spirit of heaviness over anyone here in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible declares to give them beauty for ashes. Is that true? The oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness a garment of praise for that 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 spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks or trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified strategic prayers psalm 61 from verse 1 to 4 please write this because for many of you god is already revealing to you the blueprint you prayed already and said lord as i'm coming to church give me a roadmap on how to make sense and then to manifest as an overcomer this is answer to your prayer hear my cry oh god and attend to my prayer uh-huh from the ends of the earth will i cry unto you when my heart is overwhelmed it says lead me to the rock that is higher than i verse 3 
it says for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy verse 4 i will abide in thy tabernacle forever i will trust in the covert of thy wings believers prayer is not just for give me give me give me there are times that prayer is what supplies the strength and the stamina to push through when jesus was in gethsemane you would think he would just be singing and walking around the bible says he prayed he was about to to embark on something that had an eternal value to everybody on earth he needed to pray the bible says he prayed three times repeating the same words some of you may need to go back from church today return back home and pray use this week to pray why because there are all kinds of giants there are obstacles there are all kinds of demonic things that are coming to fight the devil over to fight god over your life don't give them room you must pray number four mm. are you ready for number four maintain a lifestyle and an atmosphere of joy maintain a lifestyle and an atmosphere of joy in this kingdom joy is very powerful nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 very quickly nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 the last sentence says for the joy of the lord is your strength everybody say my strength is the joy of the lord yes sir Bazanji kunyaba God is able to use your joy as a fetcher to bring strength to your life. Can I tell you there is nothing I know that frustrates the devil like watching a believer laugh and rejoice when he's brought his best at you. You mean in spite of the fact that your son died? In spite of the fact that you lost your... Now you understand Job chapter 1. The Bible says the moment... You see why Job was a powerful man? He was filled with mysteries. He knew what to do. He said, hey, I can lose everything. But the one thing that will get them back is my joy. Can I tell you this? No matter what you lose, if the devil does not succeed in taking away your joy, believe me, everything you lost only went on errand it is coming back that's why we sang that song say to the weary ones your god will surely come he will come and say Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Let's hurry up. Philippians 4 and verse 4. Mm. Rejoice in the Lord. He never said rejoice in your situation. There are times that it does not make sense to rejoice in your situation. So you rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. Someone prophesy to yourself. Say myself rejoice. Can I tell you? You must obtain grace from God. Listen, listen. You must obtain grace from God to wean yourself from this lifestyle of gloominess and anger. What is wrong? Good morning. What is good about the morning? You see, when you do those kinds of things, you are, you are already programming yourself for defeat. Joy. There are people you see who are very happy and jovial and you think they are rejoicing because everything is already at work no they are rejoicing to make everything line up not because everything is already lined up no 
Next time you find out that things happen in your life that challenge your faith, the first thing you should do is, Father, I may not know what is happening, but like Job, even if I have to sit on the ground, I will still worship. The Bible did not say Job sat down. Please prepare to give us that scripture, Job chapter 1. After Job heard all of those things, the Bible says, Job, he rent his garment. Listen to me. And he sat on the ground and worshipped. On hearing all of these kinds of things. Joy. Habakkuk chapter 3, 17 to 19. A classic on the administration of joy. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vine. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Verse 18. Yet. Ah. Yet. I will rejoice. After the medical report. Yet. I will rejoice. After the situation that is happening within your territory, I rejoice. And I will joy in the God of my salvation. Now listen, it, it, it matters who you are rejoicing in. He calls him the God who can save me. Yahushua, where you get the word Joshua, the one who saves. I am rejoicing because he is able to save even to the uttermost he is able to save even to the uttermost he is able to save even to the uttermost can i tell you this no matter what you lose in life make up your mind to not lose joy let me tell you what joy is not joy is not just laughing like a clown no there are times you don't have that strength joy is an inner state of rest and merriment a, a, a confidence that affects your emotions derived from the fact that God is still alive and is still in charge. Hmm. There are times that it may not make sense. You may not see wind and you may not see rain. But you must maintain your joy. Here's what the Bible says. It says, He that weepeth, bearing precious seeds he said he shall doubtless return rejoicing bringing in the sheaves that they that sow in tears they will reap in joy not with joy joy is a realm you will carry the food in the kitchen that means if you cannot enter the kitchen there is no food for you it is not with joy if it says with joy then joy is a tool in joy means it is a realm you enter to guarantee your harvest. It was Papa Copeland, I was told, that asked God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko, and said, even though you, we are the ones who taught you on faith, you seem to have gotten tremendous results. And look at the crowds and all of that. And Bishop Oedeko replied, according to the story, and he said, I dance with joy. I dance every one of these people. There are times when it does not make sense. You will need to go to the shop alone and begin to give God glory in an empty shop that has nothing there. There are times you need to walk around that house and just begin to give God praise that does not make sense. To thank Him and say, Lord, I know you are faithful. Are we blessed never allow anything take your joy it's a commitment that I made with my life can I tell you joy has a health value in your life joy has a finance value in your life joy has a um, always it profits you when you know how to be joyful so there are many of us here by this by this word you need to repent of all this gloominess and you refuse yourself from sleeping and you wake up in the night asking all kinds of questions no 
give him joy and give him praise you go to the office tomorrow and they look at you and say are you aware that the discussion throughout last week was on you well it may not be the best but i give god praise you kick your car on monday morning and it looks like it's not starting you don't complicate the issues by almost destroying what is left in the car you just give god praise you're driving and someone almost looks like he wants to just hit you and you can squeeze your hand through the window because you want to insult the person no obtain the maturity to bring back your hand i choose to rejoice i choose to live a life of joy prophesy to yourself it's a choice i choose to live a life of joy someone is speaking principalities and powers are hearing you i choose to live a life of joy let your situations and circumstances hear you it's a choice that in the name of jesus here in abuja in the name of jesus across europe everywhere in ministry in business in my pursuit in my career i choose joy joy go ahead and pray just one minute before we continue my hands to honor you because your word is true i lift my hands to honor you. your word is true that i will have because my baby your word is true that i'm the head and not the tail your word is true that i'm above and not beneath because your word is true i will see so when i lift my hands it's not because i know the answer i know his word is true and the bible has already given me comfort that while i look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen he already tells me the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen someone needs to begin to look at things that are unseen the greatness that is before you the anointing and the mantle that is at the other side the other side of your tears the other side of your pain man of god do not give up in ministry it looks like things are not working but you are still called the hand of god is upon you let no man despise the grace and the gifting of god upon your life let no man despise your ministry let no man despise the investment of the spirit upon your family upon your destiny it does not yet appear but the hand of god is still on you i lift my hands to honor you i lift my hands to honor you hallelujah we have to wrap up number five and then we pray that a man can sit on the ground and yet worship powerful you would think the only way to worship is to lift your hands and jump but it is possible to also sit on the ground even in shame even in pain even in seeming defeat and yet worship are you ready for number five the fifth key every time you step into seasons where things don't seem to be working in your life please listen to me you must obtain grace to engage the prophetic the prophetic is a weapon of power when it is administered within the boundary of scripture that every time you are in seasons that look like the day of adversity you will need the prophetic they are taken for a prey and none say it restore there has to be a voice other than you 
that can speak restoration there has to be a voice other than you that can speak lifting are we together now when samaria was in decadence hunger we've shared it here women were eating their children then came this strange prophet of god and he made a declaration by the spirit by this time tomorrow moses came and held his staff and told the nation of israel god has seen your pain for these years and he has sent me as a deliverer all you need to do is to believe god and to believe me i am going to pharaoh and he stood before pharaoh he said pharaoh time up thus saith the lord god of the hebrews let my people go when the plagues began to come pharaoh said no 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 no. this is too much let the men go leave the women and the children moses said no way we are going plus our cattle everything I have watched with with shock even to me at the way the prophetic works in the lives of people who understand it and engage it I have had the honor and the privilege to speak over people over impossible situations that sometimes even me the man of God who was used to minister to them I can almost say my God will this situation turn around and then I'm not telling you what I studied. I am telling you a reality. This is by the privilege of God's mercy. I know what the prophetic can do. When, when a genuine prophetic mantle from a man of God's lips, a prophetic anointing, a spoken word, backed up by the integrity of God's word, when it lands over your situation, you just step back and watch it work wonders in your life. I told you here and I've shared this with you the prophetic does not just reveal listen to me the prophetic creates the prophetic can lift a man from your yesterday into your tomorrow believe me and you have come tonight to encounter that dimension of the prophetic this meeting will not be over until that word comes upon your life listen to me because to live an overcoming life god himself designed these principles the prophetic engaged with understanding and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved he says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established I, I say this with, with every sense of respect and, and I don't mean to brag, please forgive me, but there is a level of arrogance that is in the world today that will keep punishing many people and they will keep going through needless pain because of the arrogance of neglecting the prophetic. In as much as I know, as I would always observe, that mistakes have been made here and there in the body of Christ, people have you know mismanage the prophetic but can i tell you it is an error if you find yourself ignoring the prophetic in one night i mean literal 24 hour one night god is able to through the vehicle of the prophetic lift people listen please come let me use one person to show you how the prophetic works anyone come you stand here there are times where the normal way to climb this is by walking climb up this is how to walk normally is that true please go back there are times that there can be challenges right here and you are attempting to climb now please take one step and stay here the destiny is that you climb right here but there are all kinds of things stopping you at that point hold my hands the prophetic are you ready to jump prophetic does not just take you one step it will stand and push you like this are we together now thank you the prophetic does not follow the sequence of the natural course of things no it is a dimension outsourced as a system of advantage yes sir 
the mysteries of the kingdom that can help men to rise one prophetic word over your business one prophetic word over your ministry you can be fasting and praying by yourself god is not stupid to have given gifts in the body this is where sometimes believers we have to be careful you know we have this mindset oh look don't worry about you you just love god alone and know him for yourself listen to me god himself set in motion these these offices in the body of christ it is an advantage for the saints even when paul encountered jesus he still went back to the body for the continuity of his growth i was so honored and blessed when you know his excellency the ambassador came and he was just jumping and celebrating jesus and in as much as it looked very funny and childlike i said this man will never remain at the same level he has found a key that many people do not have the maturity to find when the ark was being restored david was dancing and rejoicing and thanking god and his own wise wife came and said no 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 this is not royalty you are bringing shame to yourself and, and dishonor and david said i am i am he told saul's daughter he says i am rejoicing before the lord who took the kingdom from your father and gave me so that he will not now take it from me and give someone else the bible says god had the rubbish she was saying and she died barren can i tell you this I'm not indoctrinating you negatively. You are intelligent people. There is a way the prophetic can be administered that makes people behave like animals. That's not what I'm teaching you here. But I am telling you this. If you have the faith to receive the prophetic, ladies and gentlemen, your life can literally change overnight. It's true. The prophetic has rules. The first rule is faith. Faith in God and faith in the vessel. Rule number two, honor. Honor to God and honor to the vessel. These are the rules of the prophetic. It does not just work arbitrarily. No. No. Please help them. The prophetic has rules. Faith in God and faith in the vessel he will use please help them I'm, I'm seeing angelic activities in this place now just help them please just help them you know when you begin to teach like this the bible calls the angels that they walk in partnership with the word to confirm the words of his servant so that's what is happening right now i'm seeing several angelic activities just help people because people are already receiving all kinds of impartations I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I waked for the Lord sustained me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. I remember one time a gentleman who was, I think he was that something happened and they relieved him from his job. And when he came and met me, usually I would just pray and tell him, trust God for another job. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me, he said, prophesy to him that you are making decrees that he is going back to that job. And it was a very good job. Uh, when I said it, I could see the guy saying, sir, you don't know, this is a XYZ oil company. I said, what is my business? Who among them can create oil? Are they not minding it? The one who created the oil is now making a decree listen i lie not probably the person is even here or maybe he's listening it was within three days three days and it was a very very strange thing that one of the executive members who is a christian a member of a, a popular church in this nation had a dream 
and in that dream a voice spoke to him and said bring back this young boy that this young boy is an asset he got up met with his fellow executives when they called him and he called me i said next time enjoy your testimony but next time do not be unwise not every man of god is a herbalist and not everybody is stupid i will not come before an intelligent congregation globally like this and just make a caricature of your pedigree and your intelligence except that this works believe me it does the prophetic can change literally 180 degrees the tides of someone's life but the challenge is that most people just say amen but they don't believe truly they don't thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head ah. thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate kato. Kate branda kata pako tos koto breka teka leka ta. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.